second highest tier actually. The entire network of highways here. We will launch it. This will be done again at the night lah. Alright, so once we are done, we do the third part of post engineering system. And then you pour the concrete, you can rebars and do things like that. Then it will jump, it will move in front. You saw how far it moved, right? Alright, so this color behind here will catch up. The construction work will start with the relocation of existing utilities along the road median as well as the road shoulder to facilitate pavement widening work. Barriers with hoarding will be installed to prevent debris from getting into the roadway and also to avoid distraction of the passing motorist, ensuring safety of the road users. To minimize disruption and inconvenience to the road user, a comprehensive traffic management scheme will be implemented in each work zone. Existing carriageway will be widened to compensate for space being taken for construction work at road medians, ensuring existing number of traffic lanes is maintained and minimizing disruption of traffic flow. Traffic will be diverted safely to the newly widened pavement and the space at road median will be barricaded and separated from the public. The construction of viaduct and station structures will begin with the commencement of foundation structures. Steel sheet pile will be installed before excavation work and construction of pile cap to ensure stability of the adjacent road pavement and the safety of road user. Advanced climbing system formwork will be used for the construction of piers. This will shorten construction time, minimize disruption and inconvenience to the road user. Once the pier construction is completed, the area will be cleaned and cleared off construction debris and reinstated for traffic use. The station concourse will be supported by precast crosshair, launched and installed in position by cranes, delivered to site from designated casting yard off-site. The project is using as much as applicable pre-cast method of construction to shorten the construction time and minimizing inconvenience to the public. For crosshead launching, additional traffic lanes need to be closed for bigger workspace required for the cranes and trailers. This will be accomplished during night work when additional traffic lanes can be closed with minimum disruption to road users. The viaducts are built with precast segmental box girder, delivered to site by trailer and launched in position by an overhead launcher during night work when additional lanes closing possible. Roads adjacent to work zones will be well lit to provide clear guides and directions for motorists passing through the work zones. The station concourse is built with precast beam supported by crosshead. Precast beams delivered to site by trailers from designated casting yard are launched onto the supporting crosshead by cranes.